Welcome, HSE professionals. Today, we delve into the critical topic of managing chemical hazards in the workplace. As stewards of health, safety, and environment, it's crucial to understand the risks associated with chemical substances and how to effectively mitigate them. Join us as we explore the top 10 questions and answers that will enhance your knowledge and empower you to create safer work environments. We invite you to share your thoughts on this important topic in the comments section below and visit our website. Question number one. What are the main types of chemical hazards found in the workplace? Chemical hazards in the workplace can include flammable liquids, corrosive substances, toxic gases, and carcinogens, among others. It's essential to identify these hazards and assess their potential risks to employee health and safety. Question number two. How can employers ensure proper handling and storage of chemicals? Employers must provide adequate training to employees on the safe handling and storage of chemicals. This includes using appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, implementing proper storage practices, and ensuring proper labeling of containers. Question number three. What are the key elements of a chemical safety program? A comprehensive chemical safety program should include hazard identification, risk assessment, control measures, emergency response procedures, and employee training. Regular audits and reviews are also essential to ensure ongoing compliance. Question number four. What steps should be taken in the event of a chemical spill or release? In the event of a chemical spill or release, immediate action is crucial. Employees should evacuate the area, if safe to do so, and follow established spill response procedures, including containing the spill, notifying appropriate personnel, and implementing cleanup measures. Question number five. How can employees protect themselves from chemical exposures? Employees should always use the appropriate personal protective equipment when working with or near hazardous chemicals. This may include gloves, goggles, respirators, and protective clothing. Additionally, following proper handling procedures and avoiding unnecessary exposure can minimize risks. Question number six. What are the regulatory requirements for chemical safety in the workplace? Regulatory requirements for chemical safety vary depending on the jurisdiction and industry. It's essential for employers to familiarize themselves with relevant regulations, such as OSHA's Hazard Communication Standard, HCS, and ensure compliance with all applicable requirements. Question number seven. How can employers promote a culture of chemical safety in the workplace? Employers can promote a culture of chemical safety by providing comprehensive training, encouraging open communication about safety concerns, and recognizing and rewarding safe behaviors. Regular safety meetings and drills can also reinforce the importance of chemical safety. Question number eight. What are the potential health effects of exposure to hazardous chemicals? Exposure to hazardous chemicals can lead to a range of health effects, including respiratory irritation, skin burns, neurological disorders, and even cancer. It's essential to understand the potential health risks associated with specific chemicals and take appropriate precautions to prevent exposure. Question number nine. What resources are available for employers to improve chemical safety practices? There are numerous resources available to help employers improve chemical safety practices, including guidance documents, training materials, and online tools provided by government agencies, industry associations, and safety organizations. Question number 10. How can employers ensure compliance with chemical safety regulations and standards? Employers can ensure compliance with chemical safety regulations and standards by staying informed about regulatory updates, conducting regular audits and inspections, and providing ongoing training to employees. It's also essential to maintain accurate records and documentation of safety efforts. Thank you for joining us as we explored the top 10 questions and answers on managing chemical hazards in the workplace. We hope this information has been valuable in enhancing your understanding of chemical safety practices. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more informative content. We value your feedback. So please let us know what topics you'd like to see in future videos. 
Together, we can create safer and healthier workplaces for all.